stuff set up overnight and now what we're going to do is uh, finish the uh, roof section of the um, gift shop here and these go together once uh, you can see how how many pieces there are and a lot of uh, design went into this to make sure it all fit together uh, Nico did a great job on this and um, so you just kind of want to test fit everything to make sure that you got a good nice fit uh, you want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of things that are uh, out of alignment or whatever because there's very tight tolerances here on this roof section uh, we'll start with this and we'll just kind of clean all of these I'm using the heavy duty gray on here sit for a few hours um, and then we'll come back and do some light sanding maybe put a little bondo in a few spots if we need it and then uh, we'll probably paint the underside and it'll be good to go all right so the next I wonder why I always, I always start out with all right <laughs> all left we'll do all left the next step is we're going to attach the supports for the, um, the roof, the curved roof that goes here. And first thing we want to do is there's a little seam down here where they come together, a little joint, and we'll put a little bit of clear silicone in here. Then there's this, in a real building like this concrete uh, little ring here. And so we're gonna attach that also right now. And I'm gonna do that with, I already cleaned it. Um, some of this gray. little coat like that and we already notched it out for the windows and I painted it with this uh, kind of stone effect paint that ends up making it look almost like a a granite uh, slab there so that looks pretty cool now we're going to come back and start on this so we will test fit this that goes in nicely so i'm going to put um, our pvc cement right here and then put clear silicone uh, for the rest Now, the next thing is we're going to go ahead and we've cut out our little pieces of uh, base wood, uh, the same wood strips that we used on the siding, and we're going to glue them in right here and then put the next piece in. And we'll use that, uh, a little bit of landscape adhesive. these guys that looks pretty good this one it was a little tight between the two windows so I 
used the Dremel and just notched out, um, made this a little thinner so that it fits nicely in right there. So take a little bit of clear. All these done so I'm gonna let that set up and we're gonna measure the next pieces of wood for here and here um, it's not quite two lengths so we're gonna to have to probably split these in half um, and do like one and a half strips and I have close to the same thing on the top up here as well um, and then we'll probably put a little piece of trim over these joints right here. So, so what happened during the little previous section and this section now is that the Amazon truck came by and delivered. <laughs> Check this out. We got these little, um, little roller stands here for the table. This thing was getting pretty heavy. Uh, it was taking two people to move it. So now we got those little roller wheels on it and we can position this a lot quicker and easier. So that was a good thing. Now what we're gonna do is work on the next level. And so what I wanna do is I put clear silicone right here, smoothed out uh, with my finger. And I'm running a bead of silicone between these windows up here um, just to keep that sealed. And then we're cutting, we have to kind of cut each one of these pieces, um, kind of a custom fit. And then also we're using this as a spacer. We've got to make sure we have the spot, um, enough space for these to slide in. So that's the uh, process here. And we're using the um, regular landscape adhesive. gift shop area is we put all the wood planking on both down below and up here and we put some trim pieces to cover the joints on this side I made sure that we had the correct spacing 
for the roof pieces to fit in up next to the, uh, the, the main PVC wall. And then we put, carry these strips up. And now um, Mario's very carefully staining this wood. And then um, that'll be pretty much wrapped up for the evening. So the other thing that we've done is sanded the, the, the roof structure right here and put some Bondo on that. We will uh, sand and put a couple layers of that in just to fill in the tab holes. And then the next thing is I think I'm going to put a, a metal tape over this. Uh, so that will give it a little, bit more a little bit more strength. And then we can put the, the final uh, roofing material over that. So uh, it's coming along nicely. We finished off the bottom and just got to finish staining all this and then we'll be good to go. busy day here in the shop, Mario and I, and we managed to finish up the main structure of the gift shop. So we got all the arch, all the roof supports in, and uh, we did all the detail wood and trim around the windows, and um, we kind of rough finished uh, the roof here. So that's all good to go. Our uh, next step will be um, there'll still be some more detail work and, and so forth and we'll probably put another coat of stain on the building um, but um, I think we got a lot done we um, as you can see there's a bunch of uh, wood cut here so on our next episode we're going to be putting the the boardwalk down around the building and that will really uh, make that pop and um, we're almost so you can tell when you're getting done on one of these models here because there's fewer pieces laying around the workshop uh, so that's always kind of an, a nice feeling knowing we're making some good progress and it's uh, it's coming together nicely all the pieces are fitting together very well just like they should be and uh, it's, it's starting to look like the the real thing so once again thank you so much for watching i'm holly mclean with train lee tv and the alpine and western pacific railroad and if you have any questions please email me at holly at trainlee.com i would love to find out if anybody out there has some uh, better ideas for uh, making these windows uh, on future buildings um, we still haven't quite found the, the secret recipe to really make dial those in but if you have any comments, please uh, email me those. And uh, please uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube at the Alpine and Western Pacific Railroad. And once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.